Hello and welcome to continu Continuities Analysis Review Thingy here on this here YouTube channel. Today's continuities of interest is multiple continuities, well, parts, various parts with, uh, how shall I describe it? This is Disney Junior USA Continuity, May 26, 2020. Now we've got part one, part three, part four, <laughs> part six, and number two. So, <coughs> excuse me a lot of stuff we got a lot of parts so this is not necessarily one single continuity this is more continuities than one but this is from the day the one day uh, from May 26 so let's just jump right straight into this thing so what do we see here Mickey and the roads to racers a lot of stuff okay not just Mickey a lot of stuff we see here and why not that's uh, very understandable that they would have promos for a bunch of stuff all in one you know there are no rules that don't allow this so they're making this stuff happen hey look a custom made logo people sitting in some kind of old style train it looks like a train from the wild west times and yeah that's how it ends that's how every bumper ends so now and now we we don't have now anymore because now went away and we got fireworks the Disney Junior logo and again with the uh, the promo for well this is uh, one of the Mickey stuff and it's gone mixed up adventures this is the newest one I have yet to watch a couple of episodes to like make my make up my mind about whether I like it or not I mean the the diagnosis is the same for every Disney Junior cartoon if it's CGI it's giving me a slightly uncomfortable feeling for some reason I have yet to explain what this feeling is, but CGI, being a CGI alone is enough to cause it, so it makes me a little bit uncomfortable, but that's not a huge problem. So uh, let's just uh, ignore it and pay attention to what's going on. Well, Mickey now, yes, we got Bingo and Rolly. Bingo and Rolly seem to be pleasant to look at for some reason, I don't know. So it's still, they, they promote this bubble bus road trips, trip so much that is just uh, you know when when will you just stop promoting this it's just uh, I keep seeing it over and over again also it is from uh, many months ago this continuity is from many months ago and it's going to be a longer continuity than usual we got longer continuities now we're making them longer sometimes because I don't know longer is better it's just more convenient to make them longer instead of uploading a lot of short videos why not make one long one right so you've got Mickey Mouse Clubhouse that's my favorite I love the song that they have at the end of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse like dun 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 you know this song if you if you're a fan of Disney Junior which I am now because I've seen it so much you know you like what you're familiar with and you get familiar with something that you've seen a lot and I've seen a lot of Disney Junior and I'm starting to like it in some way and you got uh, hot dog this hot dog song at the end of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse which I started to like after hearing it a couple of times the first time I heard it it was kinda like a little bit weird but yeah hey look there's a bunny jumping there's a special uh, bumper for the Tots cartoon so tiny ones transport system or something like that that's what Tots stands for so I was talking about Mickey Mouse and here we got Mickey Mouse and at the end of every Mickey Mouse uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse cartoon they have the hot dog dance and it's like hot dog doom 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 what's a brand new day what you waiting for uh, so like I got caught up in singing this song because I kind of like it so much it's like uh, hot dog wait I'm mixing it up because there's two hot dog songs two versions so this one's the older version it's like hot dog hot dog hot d I actually don't remember you know something that's so something that's so like obvious something that you heard so many times you've repeated so many times and one day you just can't remember isn't it strange how it works well, whatever there's a second song and 
this is the prominent song that's stuck in my head right now. Hot dog. There's like, we're talking in a funny voice, talking in a funny voice, right? That's supposed to be a reference to Donald because Donald talks in a funny voice. So we got all of this stuff going on in front of us. And we're just, uh, you know, not being able to comment on absolutely everything that is going on. We got Mickey here raising his hands to the roof because the roof is on fire. And now Mickey with his gloves is like, you know, he's uh, very enthusiastic, very healthy, very full of life, very powerful. Uh, he lacks fear. He's very confident. That's what I wanted to say. And he's like a problem solver. He's everything you would want in a mouse. So we've got these bumpers, these special bumpers with the Disney Junior logo, a custom one for every cartoon not, and not only cartoon. Like you got movies, you got Disney movies and for some reason they have custom made Disney Junior logos for these movies. Like go figure, I don't know why either. Like they don't even show these movies here on this channel. If anything they show these movies on the Disney channel and some of the, these movies are very old so I don't even know why would they would make a custom made Disney Junior logo that would look like an old movie from a from the Disney channel, right? It doesn't make any sense. Nothing makes sense sometimes, but maybe in a funny way it does make sense. Maybe there's some kind of logic behind their actions. Who knows? I don't. So we got some special bumpers here for Tots, Tiny Ones, Transport System. And uh, we got all these cute animals and the colors are also very, very nice looking. Like uh yeah they got very nice looking colors dumbo like that's such an old cartoon it, and it's a 2d hand-drawn cartoon and they, and they made a 3d cgi logo version of this and bluey is probably my favorite cartoon on the whole channel simply because it's in 2d and i prefer 2d cartoons that's just me there's uh not much i can do about it so there we got Cinderella, or uh, a bumper of, of Cinderella, and the pumpkin was supposed to be her carriage in which she got, sh uh, like, well, somebody took her in the carriage to the ball where she met the prince, and uh, her time ran out, and she, like, dropped a glass slipper. But everything, uh, what I don't understand about uh, this um, story is that you know there was a fairy to turn stuff into other stuff of course there's magic involved as always on Disney Junior and, or, or on anything Disney related but she turned everything into something else by using magic right so she turned like old slippers into glass shoes right and when the time struck some I don't know 11 or something time struck some kind of certain time all of these things that were transformed with help of magic would transform back into the state they were before the magic got applied, right? So what does not make sense is when she lost a slipper, why didn't the slipper get transformed into some old stinky shoe? Why did it stay a glass slipper, right? That does not make any sense at all to me. And it's like, you never really think of these about these things, but it's true. This is how it is. So you've got Bingo and Rolly, 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 I, 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 I don't know, <laughs> maybe I would, <laughs> I'm sounding like a certain someone right now, uh, I don't want to mention his name because his name is unmentionable on this here place. So you got On Demand Disney Now, Disney Now is like on the end of, of every bumper, you got a bumper, you got a promo, you can be sure that at the end of it you will see a Disney Now sticker, a Disney Now logo promoting the app Disney Now. The app Disney Now is, you see right here, another one. <laughs> I'm like DJ Khalid, another one. So uh, we got 6 o'clock, Mickey wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning which uh, you know is uh, evident by looking at his alarm clock. He eats waffles and then he drives his car to work I guess. And then he talks to people. I don't know what he does. Podcast. Then, like, Pluto rotates the door and he gets catapulted into the sky and he falls back down as if nothing happened. And then a bunch of other shows appear. And he's like, gone. There's no word from Mickey anymore. I guess he's at work right now, working. And now he came home and Pluto licked his face like dogs do. And now some other stuff happened. And here, here he is, Mickey, once again. So that was Mickey, that was 
and this is Doc McStuffins, the little girl who fixes up toys because toys need love too. And uh, yeah, she's got her toys, and they like they're like uh, toys that don't have life, and they're just matter. And sometimes when every adult goes away, these toys are brought to life and they act like humans in a way but a little bit different than humans not truly humans because humans have this thing about them when they're uh, that they're like smarter so these plushy animals have a limited mindset somehow they're limited in their knowledge and they're limited in their interests so they, they all have personalities though so uh, yeah, teamwork is probably a good thing for them to do. And the Elroy Jetson bumper, the famous Elroy Jetson bumpers. And now the Mickey and the Roaster Racers thing. And it's very pretty, very beautiful looking, but too short for my taste. I wouldn't have liked to look at the Now bumper for a little bit longer. And we got Fancy Nancy right here. And I don't know what her name is, uh, which name I should use. Should I use the short form Fancy Nancy or should I say Fancy Nancy Clancy? Because I've heard the announcer people say Fancy Nancy on the Asian version of this channel, I believe. I'm not sure though. So some people just call it Nancy, Fancy Nancy. Some people just say Nancy. But the full name is Fancy Nancy Clancy. I don't know why Clancy. What does Clancy even stand for? I guess Nancy Clancy. Nancy is her fa first name. and. Clancy is her last name and she's fancy that's just a nickname just an adjective describing what she is so puppy dog pals we see sometimes some promos for puppy dog pals but don't see too much I've seen the bubble bus road trip uh, promo once and that's just simply not enough times so I, I demand more puppy dog pal time here on this Disney Channel hey look Aladdin they made a 3d version of Aladdin and this is how Aladdin would look like if he was in 3D and he was a letter I of the Disney Junior logo. Hey, puppy dog pals, here we go. We see the two high-fiving and uh, sticking out their tongue, just like dogs do. Did you know that dogs stick out their tongues when they feel too warm? It's a way for them to cool down because they, I don't know if they can sweat. I don't think dogs can sweat, can they? I don't know. I don't remember. But it's definitely one of the ways to cool down by sticking out their tongue. So it doesn't mean they want to kiss you when they stick out their tongue. It doesn't mean anything. It means they're hot. They just they need to cool down. So hey, a boy and his dog. What could be more uh, like um, cute or whatever the word is? Uh, yeah, old fashioned kind of. It's like a prototype. Hey, look, we saw a little bit of an ad, but here. A boy is playing baseball against grandma and the dog is helping him, a partner in crime so to speak. And the dog is like standing near the go boy who is going to transform into the letter I. And here we got PJ Masks. We don't have a lot of PJ Masks on, Mask on this here version. Even though we do have a lot of PJ Masks on other versions like European versions like the Poland version of this Disney Junior channel. I believe the Poland version has a lot more Disney Junior episodes that they air, the the Spain version also, pretty much all of the European versions air more stuff, basically, and this American version is hyper-focused on Mickey Mouse related content, mostly Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which is why I like it so much because I've seen it a million times and you know what you see a lot you get used to and what you get used to you like, so even though I don't really like it, I like it because I've seen it so much. If you, I hope you understand this logic. It's a little bit complex. So we've got Monsters Incorporated. The R letter is supposed to be the little girl and the green O letter is supposed to be the one of the main characters, one of the monsters. The two monsters, so it's the smaller one. The other one's the blue hairy one with fur, with hyper realistic fur. I believe, I remember when they were bragging all about the fur. Uh, so yeah, now or I don't know so yeah we got Bluey they're here that's what Bluey just said in a very weird Australian accent she's not pronouncing the T like they're they're here it's like yeah yeah something like that right like the accents different I mean I'm not saying she's mispronouncing anything she's pronouncing things exactly the way Australians would pronounce it I believe most probably 
so it's good that she pronounces it that way and it's interesting that she is a girl even though she looks nothing like a girl she just looks like a regular dog but who knows and her name is like bluey i don't know i would think bluey would be a boy's name but who knows and it, and it's blue because like blue signifies a boy and pink signifies a girl hey look one of the exclusive uh tots bumpers and it's really beautiful the blue color in the sky and all of the colors are just amazing and we've got the dithering style in the background here comic books use that and this is the uh being on rolling now bumper and now we have the tablet bumper the family tablet bumper this is the D disney junior family as i call them i don't know what their official name is but i call them the disney junior family we had mickey mouse clubhouse right here for a short second and we had some kind of giant right there uh, i guess it's jack because it's an episode of jack and the beanstalk so that was the giant so i guess they call him jack but maybe he has a different name who knows I am not completely sure about this. We got Mickey Mouse bumpers here coming up. So again with the Mickey Mouse Mickey Mornings thing. So this is going to be a long bumper. We've seen it already probably. So let's just pay attention to what these people are doing. So uh, something we have not noticed before. Uh, the, the, the chair, the fireplace, the window in the background, the two pillars and uh, the door of India. Um, we got hamsters of some sorts dancing. And we got text underneath, like the names of these shows. We can read the names of these shows if we don't know the names already. Puppy Dog Pals, yeah. We saw that being written uh, down there in the bottom left corner. So we got Fred Mingo. Do you know who Fred Mingo is? Uh, Freddy the Flamingo. And if you just combine these words, it's Fred Mingo. And that's how the pal. Oh, Penguin called it. Hey, look, Disney Junior Music. That's an interesting looking disco ball bumper with all kinds of equalizer visu visualizations in the background going on like the type of stuff you see when you hear music playing on a player on a computer uh, and uh, yeah we got all kinds of vis visualizations of music on music players on the computer so it looked like there was these equ equalizers and the visualizations in the, ba in the background so we got the sun in the bottom that signifies that it's daytime and when you see the moon at the bottom when you're promoting some kind of show and telling you when it's gonna air you see the moon so sun and moon so you've got Arf the robot and he's like rah, bah, 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 ah, way up into the sky he has a very particular way of talking just Arf Arf first person and Arf is the sound dogs make like Arf 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 that's the sound dogs make and that's an interesting name because you know they built uh, bob their owner a guy named bob built this arf robot who looks like a dog who is built for dogs and whose name is a sound that dogs make and he made this robot to clean up after bingo and Rolly, the puppy dog pals the two original puppy dog pals so we got bluey here and they like to play pretend it's all about playing pretend and they're reading books and they're like pretending to be all kinds of stuff and her and their dad he per like he's double pretending he's like in the matrix i don't know he's like pretendception he's pretending not to like pretending but he still pretends anyway even though he pretends not to like it <laughs> that was very confusing and yeah their dad just loves pretending almost as much as the kids so that's the perfect dad you want to have when you when you have us when you have an interest you would like your dad to share your, your interest at least where you, when you're very young because that's that's the very fun thing like there's nothing better for a little kid than to get their parents attention and when you grow a little bit older, maybe you don't need the attention that much, right? Maybe like the last thing you want is attention. But when you're like really young, really little, you need your parents' attention. So when your dad is interested in the same types of things, like for example, playing pretend, then it's a very good thing for a young developing child, etc. So we got now bumpers right here. And one thing I wanted to know, uh, mention, even though 
this is a family family friendly video and we're reviewing a TV channel that is clearly made for little kids Disney Junior it even has Disney a junior in the name this video is for everybody everybody who's interested in TV channels because this YouTube channel is for uh, well like just satellite TV channels, all kinds of TV channels all over the world and Disney Junior just happens to be one of them and if it attracts children that might watch it well okay que sera sera whatever will be will be I will mark this as made for kids but I'm just saying I'm marking it as made for kids reluctantly I don't want to do it because I'm an adult reviewing this video I have an adult voice and I'm talking about adult things even though they're not too adulty but I'm talking a pretty boring way for a little kid I don't know if little kids will listen to me for too long because the the way I talk isn't designed to be like you know uh, heard by little kids not particularly it's not all it's also not in any way not uh, suitable for kids It's suitable for everybody that's why I sometimes say ladies and gentlemen people of all ages at the beginning of the video because it really is for all ages and uh, well I guess I'm being pressured by uh, US laws and YouTube policies to mark this video as for kids because uh, you know otherwise I might get in trouble even though I'm not even sure if this is for kids or not this is like a general video but because there's kids characters in it to be on the safe side, I'm going to mark it as made for kids. And uh, of course, I'm not going to have end screens, the rectangular stuff at the end of the video. And I'm not going to have comments enabled and a lot of other stuff. So, I mean, whatever. Whatever uh, it takes. But I just feel like I want to do this video today. Uh, so, yeah, whatever. Whatever the consequences are. So, what do we what do we have here? We got hands being washed by kids. We got cartoon characters. Oh, uh, like the dinosaurs. Do you even get to see the cartoon about the dinosaurs here on this uh, TV channel? The American version? I don't even know. Like Gigantosaurus. Do you ever see a promo for that? I don't think so. While the European versions are just airing it left and right all the time so I don't know what's going on with this American version but we're near the end of this video so I hope you enjoyed it check out more videos if you did see you bye bye